Psychologist Brian Shaw has been tracking Irene for us. He joins us live more on the latest. So, Brian, I guess the question everyone wants to know is where is Irene headed next? Well, it looks like it is going to go right through New York City. The projected time frame for it to actually hit is around 10.30 a.m. The eye of the storm, as you see right there, going to move through New York City. So that's going to be the strongest part of the storm. Wind gusts of 80 miles per hour, sustained winds at around 75 miles per hour. Now, once those winds get around 73 miles per hour, that would bring it down to just a tropical storm. It would bring it under a Category 1 hurricane to a tropical storm. So that is expected soon, over the next couple of hours. So hopefully by noontime, the storm will have diminished some as it moves to Connecticut and into Massachusetts. But Philadelphia, I think, is one of the areas that got hit the hardest, especially starting last night. They saw a couple of tornado warnings. They've seen extensive flooding. So additional rain amounts on top of the strong winds, the flooding, additional rain amounts could be upwards of 5 to 12 inches. So that's the reason the storm surges are going to be so high, Anthony. So we're still monitoring Irene, and uh, we'll have more for you throughout the day at WIVB.com.